at the United States Air Force Academy at Falcon Stadium. What a wild one we had today as the Air Force Academy wins it by the score of 10 to 9 in this, their first overtime period of the year. You want to know what the story of the game was? How about right here? It's defense, and in particular, it's Braden Host. He had 19 saves on the day, making some great plays in front of the net to keep the Falcons. And I'll tell you, it was back and forth. I score, you score. That's basically how it went. Here's the first goal of the game. It came from Quincy Payne. He wasn't done, though, as he got the hat trick today, number four for the Air Force Academy. And it was just one of those games where I guess the, the biggest margin was two goals, and it didn't hold up. Here's the go-ahead goal by the Utah Utes. That was a 9-8 to eight score. And once again, Krause stepping in, making some big, big plays right there. That's an overtime save right there. And then the game winner, and it's Gianni Orlando, the man from just up the road here, a Colorado boy. And somehow the Valor Christian Eagles must be smiling as he gets mobbed by his teammates, scoring in overtime to give the Falcons a 10-9 to win over the University of Utah. Well, folks... That's a nice way to wrap up the homestand. Falcons go one and one, and now they hit the road and go to Durham, North Carolina, where they'll be taking on Duke University, where our next broadcast will be in two weeks when the Air Force Academy takes on Robert Morris. Face-off time will be here at Falcon Stadium beginning at 12 noon. For our entire Falcon Vision crew, I'm Jeffrey Orman. Thank you so much for joining us. We gave you a good one today, and until we talk to you two weeks from now, we bid you a very pleasant good afternoon from Falcon Stadium here at the United States Air Force Academy.